Hey everyone and in this video I will show you how you can send a data from frontend to backend with the help of node and javascript okay so let's start with the video without wasting more time so first of all you need to download some dependencies so come to your terminal here and write npm i which is a short form for install and write node mon express hbs and lastly mongoose and hit enter and let it download all these four dependencies all right so now all the four are downloaded now let's create some files here so first of all uh not under the node modules so i'll create a file called index.js okay so this will be index.js which will be our main backend file and uh, one more backend file I will create here, which will be uh, mongo.js. All right. And now I will create a folder, which will be we called uh, templates. Okay. So that's right. And inside this template, I will create a home.hbs. So this HBS is just like HTML. So don't confuse what is this hbs it is just like html but you can use it with the like with backend okay because the pure html would not work so that's why we are using hbs and you can use ejs or like pugjs also but in this video we will be using hbs or that so after creating these uh, three files uh, let's write some code in home.hbs first so i will uh, do this and this is just like your html so i will uh, like the boilerplate here then i will create some style tag okay and inside this body first of all i will write home in h1 tag then i will create a form so in this action uh let's leave this action for now uh, write one more thing which is method and write post in this method okay and now under this form what i will do i will make an input tag the text of which will be the type of which will be text i will add a placeholder so i will write here write a message that's it and then i will create a button uh, so it will be a submit button that's it and the value will be submit okay and that's it and let's write some code now in the index.js so here what you have to do write const express is equal to require express all right then you have to do uh, you have to write const app is equal to express and in this way we can use this x uh, this app uh, variable to get or post anything we want then i will write const path is equal to require path here okay uh, not this one so yeah and uh, similarly uh, lastly i will write const template path and this will be equal to path dot join so we are writing this code uh, in order to get the to get this uh, HBS file okay so because this index.js do not know uh, which HTML file to use so we are telling it now that it have to use this home.hbs so here you have to write double dot and slash and then I will write template okay templates so make sure to write the same name as this file here that's it and then you have to write some more code here i will write app.use express dot json and then one more use function here which will be express dot url encoded and in this you have to write extended false all right oops because it is by default true and if you leave it that way it will not work the backend will be not work so after that you have to write app.set and this 
I will tell you what it means. So here you have to define the view engine. So as I told you, you have uh, like some options which is EJS and HBS and in this example, in this video, we will be using HBS. So I will tell the view, J, the view engine we are using is HBS. So make sure to write this line. It is very important. And one more set here, which will be views. So we are telling the views folder is changed to template path. See the by default, the HBS. So by default, if you are using HBS, uh, the folder name should be views. But uh, here you can see the folder name is not view. So that's why we are telling it that the folder name is this one, which is uh, this DI name and templates. So if you do not want to write this line, okay, so you have to change the folder name to views and that's after that you do not have to write this line. But currently I will write this line here. Then I will just write app.get and a slash. So by default, we will be getting what home JS. So request dot response and it will be an arrow function here. And then I will write just write rest dot render and here I will write home. That's it. Now uh, come down here and I will write app dot listen. So let's write the port number here. You can write any port number. I will write 3000 and then make a callback function here. So I will write console dot log port connected. So this is just confirmation message that your port has been successfully connected. Now I think uh, the code in index.js is almost complete. So let's uh, start the server and see if it is working. So I will clear the console here or uh, the terminal. I will write node mon and then index.js. That's it. So yeah, as you can see, it is saying port connected. So our port is successfully connected. Now let's open any browser. I will open Chrome and go to localhost 3000. So let's see. All right. So it is... Uh, Okay, so it is not getting the home file here. So let's see what is the problem here. Mm -mm -mm. So let's remove this one dot and try one more time here. So yep, as you can see, after removing this uh, one dot here, so our home JS is now there. So that's great. Now let's write some code for MongoJS because the data we will be storing is uh, in a database. So for that database, we will be using MongoDB. All right. So here, what you have to do, just write const mongoose is equal to require and what you have to require mongoose. That's right. After that, write mongoose dot connect. So here we are connecting it and write the same code that I'm writing right now. Okay. So write mongodb, then colon double slash localhost and write 27017. So write exactly what I've written here. And after the slash, you can write anything. So after the slash, whatever you will write, that will be the name of your database. So I will write here, send data to backend. So this name, you can write anything here. So I've written send data to backend. So this will be our database name. Then here I will write some then and catch blocks. And inside this, I will make a callback function here, which will say uh, MongoDB connected. So this will be a confirmation message that our MongoDB has been connected successfully. And if anything goes wrong, and if it is not connecting, then we will just write failed. Okay. So, and now let's create a schema. So I will write here, login schema. So this schema is used to define the structure of your document. So I will write here, new mongoose dot schema here. So you can see schema and then it will take an object. So make sure to write an object. And here you have to uh, define what is the name of your like document. Okay, so what is the structure? So I will uh, not name. So I will write here MSG short form of message and I will give it a type of. So I will write here 
type of string so the type of this message will be string and i will write required required will be true so that message cannot be empty so in this way we are telling mongodb uh, whenever you are storing a uh, data it will be under this name message and uh, the type of that will be string and it should not be empty okay uh, there should be something in it because the required is true so the schema is now complete after that you have to make a collection so i will write here collection so i hope you know a database have several collections and those collection have documents so we have write the schema for a document now we are creating a collection in the database so i will write here new mongoos dot model so in order to create a collection you have to write model here and then you have to give the name of your collection so i will write here new collection okay that's right just a new collection you have you can just write anything here you can give any name and then after the comma you have to provide the schema so write schema so this schema is this one okay so make sure to write exactly same now just i will uh, export the this collection name so i'll write exports is equal to this collection that's it we are done with the mongo.js code and now we have to require this collection in our index.js so to do that i will come down here and i will write uh, not mongo i will write collection is equal to require then you can see it is giving me a suggestion of mongo and that's it in this way uh, you can see uh, you will require the mongojs so as you can see it is giving me an error now uh, let's see what is the error i think the this will be type not type of so let's save it again and so yeah as you can see now it is working so make sure to write type and not type of okay so now we are almost done and uh, now let's create the main thing so let me just zoom a little bit so now what we will do whenever someone will write a message so let's say hello and whenever someone will hit submit that data should be saved in our database which is mongodb so to do that uh, you can see in our let's just format document first so in our home.js the action method is empty so we'll write here send uh, slash send uh, msg okay so you can name it anything i have named uh, slash um, msg and this name we will use later on in this index.js so copy that so here you will use that so write app dot post so this post we will be using to uh, like save the message in our database so i will write here slash that exact uh like name so make sure to write the exact name and then similarly uh we will write request dot not request and uh, response and it will be an arrow function and make sure to write async here because this function will be in async function because we will be using await so here what we will do we will write await okay um await and then i will write collection dot insert so collection dot insert many and here it will take a array so inside this make an object here and then we will write msg and that's it and in order to get the message from this home js so what you will do uh, you can just write a variable const message is equal to request dot body dot msg and uh, make sure to name this message here okay so come in this input tag here and write a name and uh, name it msg so make sure that the name is msg here and it is should be same here also so so yeah that's it guys i think now we are done and uh, to confirm that the message has been successfully sent we will what we will do we will write uh, rest dot send here 
let's say sent okay so this will confirm that the message is sent successfully so let's reload the page and write a message said hello let's hit submit and yep as you can see it is saying me sent that means the message has been successfully sent now let's see whether the message has been uh, stored in the database or not so open your mongodb compass here uh, it is a tool to like see all the database and your data inside that so make sure you download it so open your compass and click on this connect here and on the left hand side you can see all the database so right now we just created a database called send data to backend you can see there and click on that and you can see the collection name is new collection so click on this and yep as you can see an entry is there let me just zoom a little bit you can see the entry is there which says hello so that's how uh, you can create like you can send a data from front end to back end so i hope you understand how this works it is very easy now let's uh, try one more time so hello for second time so let's hit submit and now let's see our data so i will click on this refresh button so yeah as you can see it is now here also hello for the second time so that's it for this video guys i hope you understand how to send a data to the back end and if you want how to get the data back from the back end to the front end i will make the video on that also let me know in the comments and if you have any new idea uh, let me know that also in the comments and that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one